morning, sir, and welcome to the Urban Combat Training Course. I'm Lieutenant Lin, Training and Logistics Officer. I'll be supervising this exercise to re-familiarize you with your weapons and gear. Press the X button now to start the trainer. If your objective is not in your field of view, a yellow arrow will point you in the right direction. Proceed to your next objective, sir. To fire more accurately and make yourself more difficult to hit, you can... Zooming enables your aim assist and makes you more accurate. You can disable it later through the options menu if you desire. Very good. Now tap the left button to reload your weapon. There's an ammo box up ahead. Press the down button when close to access it. Grab the sniper rifle now. Good. Now move to the next position. Holding your breath makes you aim steadier. Tapping the down button changes your level of magnification. There's some hostiles moving on your position. Take them out with a sniper. <laughs> Holding the right button will open your weapon select menu. Do this now and select your grenades. Throw your grenades with the R button. Take out the vehicle, sir. Well done, sir. Let's familiarize you with the drone now. Press the select button. You've been equipped with a UAV drone. You can access it through your crosscom. Press and hold the down button. The UAV drone can also be... down button to access your crosscom. Use the circle button to drop bomblets on the enemy soldiers. Press the left and close the camera view. Then head north. Good, you got it. Now take aim and use the launcher to destroy the approaching armor. Retrieve the OITW from the ammo box up ahead. Ammo boxes show up on the outmap as blue triangles. Advance to your next objective, Captain. OICW has multiple firing rates, including a laser to designate targets for airstrikes. Hold the left button and Outstanding, sir. As good as everyone says you are. Move to the extraction point. Captain Mitchell, this is General Martin. Come in, Captain Mitchell. Leader, do you read? Come in, Mitchell. We've lost contact with Saber 6. Mitchell, are you there? I'm here, sir. We're not receiving you, Captain. Your NARCOM equipment seems to be offline, so we're transmitting via radio. We need you to get to higher ground to establish full communication. Roger that, sir. If you're copying, make it quick, Mitchell. Saber 6 is down. We've just...
satellite fix on its crash site in a village nearby. We're already showing guerrilla forces homing in on its position. We can really use your help. Command, this is Ghost Leader. Mitchell, what's your status? We lost contact with Saber 6. Saber 6 was hit, sir. Anti-aircraft fire. I've been separated from the rest of the team, but I'm near our insertion point. Are you hurt? Nothing broken but my gear, sir. I'll manage. Good. We need to dispatch a search and rescue team ASAP. But we cannot risk another aircraft until those AAs are neutralized. Our satellites are showing two possible locations north of the insertion point with enemy activity. Demo those guns, and we're in business. Roger that, sir. I'm on it.
Showing what looks like one more anti aircraft battery. Plant a demo charge on it, and we should be clear to send in the search and rescue chopper. Yes, sir, General. Moving out. Man, this is Ghost Leader. The anti-aircraft guns are history. Good work, Mitchell. I'm giving the okay to send in the rescue team. They should be arriving at the village where Sabre 6 went down in about... Wait a minute. Guerrilla troop transports are heading toward the crash site, moving up the road from the south. Stop them, or the rescue team is going to have its hands full. I'm on it.
Command, this is Ghost Leader. Mitchell, what's your status? We lost contact with Saber 6. Saber 6 was hit, sir. Anti-aircraft fire. I've been separated from the rest of the team, but I'm near our insertion point. Are you hurt? Nothing broken but my gear, sir. I'll manage. Good. We need to dispatch a search and rescue team ASAP. But we cannot risk another aircraft until those AAs are neutralized. Our satellites are showing two possible locations north of the insertion point with enemy activity. Demo those guns, and we're in business. Roger that, sir. I'm on it. like one more anti-aircraft battery. Plan a demo charge on it, and we should be clear to send in the search and rescue chopper. Yes, sir, General. Moving out. Un gabacho. Ataque. Sargento, un gabacho. Es fuego. Ataque. Ghost Leader, the anti-aircraft guns are history. Good work, Mitchell. I'm giving the okay to send in the rescue team. They should be arriving at the village where Saber 6 went down in about... Wait a minute. Guerrilla troop transports are heading toward the crash site, moving up the road from the south. Stop them, or the rescue team is going to have its hands full. I'm on it. That search and rescue chopper is en route to the crash site. If you follow the road to the north, it should take you to the village where Saber 6 went down. I read you. The sooner you arrive, the better. 
Things are starting to get ugly. I'm on my way. Mitchell, the rescue helicopter is in the air, but guerrilla forces are already moving in on the crash site. Without the CSR team there, the pilots and your teammates may not be in any condition to defend themselves. Get to that crash site as quickly as you can, and secure it, eliminating any enemy troops that get in your way. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Captain, I thought we'd lost you. Hang in there. We've got a chopper inbound. It's Captain Mitchell. He's alive? The rescue team will be here soon. Stay put and keep your head. We're not going anywhere, sir.
Better late than never. Roger that, Hound 5-2. Mitchell, protect the CSR team during the rescue operation. Satellites are showing enemy reinforcements heading towards your position. Will do, sir.
enemy armor has been destroyed. Awaiting orders. Good job, Mitchell. We'll be sure to get the co-pilot and your ghost the best of care. Your sacrifice today will not go unnoticed. How are you doing? It's been better, Jeff, but I'll manage. As you know, this mission is of the highest priority. I have to ask, even with the bird down and most of the ghosts out of action, are you able to continue the mission, Captain? Yes, sir. I think so, sir. Good. We're dropping a resupply container in the jungle northwest of your position. In it, you'll find the latest issue, Lone Wolf Gear. OICW, Mini UAV, Demolition Equipment, Medical Supplies, and Replacement Hardware for your Narcom. Likewise, we'll be resupplying you as often as we can as long as you're on the ground. Mitchell. The guerrilla camp in this area is the reason we're here in the first place. Sigint suggests that they are moving high-tech weapons and equipment to the rebel elements in Mexico. You need to infiltrate the compound and retrieve any intel you can on the guerrilla's activities. Be cautious. You'll be outnumbered and the hostiles are heavily armed. I will, sir. Moving out. Good work, Mitchell. Now, there should be a building in the center of the compound that the guerrillas are using as their HQ. Radio antenna, SUV, generator, the usual? Right. Any useful intelligence will be found in the vicinity of that structure. Probably on a laptop computer. I'll see what I can find.
Later. I have your intel and I'm uploading it now. Hmm. According to this, some interesting cargo landed at the town of Punta Ardita on the coast. We're not sure what the cargo is, but we do know that Manuel Bernaza, the local guerrilla leader, is planning on making a message out of Hector Rodriguez, the local official in that same town. Apparently, the official has been providing intel to the Colombian military, and Bernaza might want to take care of two birds with one stone. What now? We need some time to make arrangements with the Colombian military, Mitchell. This intel mentions a weapons cache at the compound. Demo that ammo depot and set up an ambush for any enemy forces heading north toward the coast. This should buy us the time we need. Roger. I'm on it.
We've alerted the Colombian military to Bernaz's plans to assassinate the local official, and they've dispatched units to the area to assist with his safe extraction. Further analysis of the data you collected indicates that the shipment that arrived yesterday consisted of telemetry components and several trucks containing rocket fuel. Not a good combination to be in the hands of our guerrilla friends. My thoughts exactly. That's why your orders are to assist the Colombians with the extraction and then call in an offshore missile strike on the warehouse where the shipment is being held. I know what you're thinking, Mitchell, but at least this time you don't have to do everything yourself. Right. I'm on my way. Roger that.
¡Guíanlos! ¡Enemigos, señor! ¡Son estos perros!
Bienvenidos a Colombia, Capitán. We appreciate your assistance in escorting the convoy and will be in an excellent position to begin our assault on the guerrilla complex if all goes as planned. A definitive strike will cripple their chances of moving any weaponry to the Mexican rebels and restore stability. Stay alert, Capitan. Captain, we're under attack! Mitchell, Ghost Leader, do you read? Captain, we must pull back! Your men are gonna have to fight! Mitchell! Never sir. Looks like some of Bernard's men are still in the military vehicle and follow me. They've got us boxed in good. Alright, Mitchell. Keep your head on. Use every means at your disposal to protect that convoy and repel the guerrilla ambush. The Colombians may not have your training, but you still need their numbers if any of you are gonna walk out of this in one piece. I will, sir.
bad. Convoy's pretty banged up, sir. Captain, we are avoiding the mission. I'm sorry, but we will not be able to make the assault on the industrial complex like this. The Colombians are pulling out, General. There's nothing we can do about that, Mitchell. But if the guerrillas knew enough to plan an ambush, then no doubt they're already making preparations to defend or vacate the complex. If we don't move now, this whole thing can blow up in our faces. I want you to proceed to the target yourself. Sir? If nothing else, we may be able to get a better idea what Bernaza and his guerrillas are up to. A wing of F-35s will be standing by for airstrikes if a suitable target is found. Head east across the river and you'll find the complex a few clicks beyond. Good luck. Yes, sir. The industrial complex is just ahead. You'll need to find a way in through their perimeter defenses. When you get inside, try to locate any armed stockpiles that may be destined for Mexico. Once you've located the weapons, we'll patch you through to the F-35s. Acknowledged.
located the arm stockpiles. Good work. It's not all, General. I've also found containers of sophisticated electronics. U.S. military, by the looks of it. And a large quantity of short-range missile components. Interesting. As we suspect, the guerrillas are most likely planning to ship the missiles to the Mexican rebels. But if they would have gotten their hands on our hardware, there may be more to this than we thought. I'm patching you through to the F-35s now, so you can designate both the stockpiles and the electronics. Ghost Leader, this is Thunder One. We are ready and waiting for targets. Acknowledge, Thunder One. Ghost Leader, this is Thunder One. We have your target and... Whoa! What the... Command, this is Thunder One. We are experiencing severe jamming of our navigation and targeting systems. Repeat, our navigation and targeting systems are completely blacked out. Jamming? Mitchell, are you getting this? Affirmative, sir. We're being jammed, all right. Command, this is Thunder One. We are leaving for friendlier skies. Sorry, Ghost Leader. All right, Mitchell. You have to demo the targets yourself. Destroy the arms, stockpiles, the missile components, the electronics, all of them. When those charges blow, every rebel in that camp is gonna come running. So you may need to create a diversion to get out of there. Roger that. show a number of parked vehicles at the complex that may be viable targets for creating a diversion. The more chaotic the situation down there, the easier it'll be for you to slip out during the confusion. Yes, sir. Once you're out of the complex, head back the way you came toward the coastal town. There's a freighter doctor that Bernaza might be using to transport some of his wares. I'm on my way, sir.
Intelligence has revealed that the guerrillas have smuggled a stash of missile components into town and are attempting to load them onto a ship bound for Panama. Presumably, they'll be moving the components to Mexico by land from there. We need you to get to the shipping docks and secure these components before the ship leaves port. Colombian forces will be arriving from the south shortly to assist you. Yes, sir.
¡Cabachos a la vista! ¡Hombres, destruyanlos! ¡Cabachos a la vista!
Sir. Ready when you are, Ghost Leader. seized from the docks area, we have located several trucks trying to flee across the border into Panama. Link up with the Colombian convoy arriving from the east and intercept those trucks. According to the intel gathered from the shipping docks, there were no warheads aboard that ship. We believe the guerrillas are trying to smuggle the missing warheads out of the country by truck. The Colombians have already set up a roadblock by a bridge to the north, so your convoy will reinforce the defenses at this bridge, with the goal of preventing the guerrillas from escaping across it. Yes, sir. The enemy is assaulting the bridge, Captain! Don't let the guerrillas break through those defenses, Mitchell. We can't afford to lose those warheads. Ground-based radar in your neighborhood, Ghost Leader. It could be... Oh, we got a missile warning. 
They're firing on us. Taking evasive action. Mitchell, the guerrillas must have a surface-to-air missile launcher somewhere across that river. With those trucks trying to escape, it's probably a mobile unit. We're going to blow this bridge. Under one is going to need your help to do it. Find those sail launchers and demo them. Fast! Roger, moving out. Command, this is Thunder One. We are leaving for friendlier skies. Sorry, Ghost Leader. This is Thunder One. Enemy radar is no longer tracking us, and we are back in the fight. Thank you, Ghost Leader.
SATINT has spotted a newly erected radio tower in the ruins near the guerrilla compound in the jungle. We suspect this may have something to do with the enemy's jamming capabilities. Head east of the Colombian defense lines towards the compound, and I'll contact you with your next objective. The guerrillas have their jamming devices operating again, and you are in its range. We've been trying to triangulate the source of the signal, but they're using a network of radio towers to project its effect over a wider area. That makes it harder to pinpoint. If you can demo this tower, though, that should create a hole in their capabilities. We can use that to support the Colombians with more air power. Acknowledged, sir. The Colombian military is in the process of building its presence in the region. Because of this, enemy concentration in this area is expected to be low which will make your job easier. Good luck. Man, this is Ghost Leader. I've got Buku guerrillas at the compound. A lot of troops and vehicles. I'm reading you, Mitchell. We've just received intel that the guerrillas may be planning a counter strike against nearby Colombian positions. And it looks like you've just confirmed it. First things first. We need to take out that jamming tower. We may need air power to deal with the guerrillas, but we don't have that option with that tower intact. You demo the tower, we'll warn the Colombians. I'm on it, sir.
from the ship's dock to one man, a Chilean billionaire by the name of Antonio Salvador. He's presumably the financier behind Bernaz's operation. Mop up what's ever left of Bernaz's forces, then head northeast toward the nearby village. Mr. Salvador has a hacienda near there, and you're gonna pay him a visit. Salvador's Hacienda is southeast of your position, Mitchell, beyond the village. According to our intelligence, Mr. Salvador has made his fortune in satellite navigation chips. That explains the HUD and air support interference. Salvador is a strong supporter of the rising political movement in the region, which may indicate that there is more to Bernaza and his men than just running guns. In any case, Salvador may be able to provide us with information on the location of the jamming station. That's why we need to take him alive. Will do, General. Thank you. 
Command, this is Ghost Leader. I've been made. My situation is deteriorating fast, General. They knew I was coming. Hold on, Mitchell. Close air support is on the way. We're showing vehicles leaving the Hacienda. SUVs. Salvador may be trying to escape. Don't let them leave the area. Command, this is Ghost Leader. I've lost the SUVs. They were well armored, not cheap. Bernaza's men, I think. They killed Salvador, General. We're tracking the SUVs now. Search the area, Mitchell. We need any intel you can get. Without any more chances of finding that jammer, we're looking pretty grim. Acknowledged. Excellent work, Mitchell. The files from Salvador's computer could be the ticket to shutting down this whole operation. We're analyzing the data now. Your close air support has arrived. They're standing by. Go clear to this is Hawk 5. Hawk and loaded. Clear out the remaining enemy forces near the Hacienda, Mitchell, and we'll go from there. Will do, sir. from Salvador's place shows that the GPS signal is being generated from the guerrilla-held industrial complex in the mountains. 
We've also learned that those SUVs were indeed carrying Bernaz's right-hand man, Carlos Sanchez. The Colombians have identified him as the man responsible for pulling off the convoy ambush in the gorge, and now the sniper attack at the Hacienda. That makes twice he's had you in his sights, Mitchell. Third time's a charm. It appears Sanchez and his men are en route to warn the industrial complex, linking up with additional forces along the way. That truck is on its way to meet with other vehicles nearby, and Sanchez's SUVs are waiting further to the south. Your best bet is to divide and conquer, starting by destroying that truck before it reaches the others. I'm on the move. The good news is that heavy rains have played havoc with the local road conditions. You should be able to get ahead of them and set up an ambush by cutting cross-country. Alright, Mitchell. That's one down. But the second group of vehicles is pulling away. Cut south through the jungle and try to head them off before they rendezvous with Sanchez and the SUVs. Come on, Mitchell! Moving. Roger that, sir.
with the Colombians against the guerrilla industrial complex as we speak. Without Sanchez to warn them, we hope to have the advantage of surprise. Head south. There's a striker waiting to take you to the staging area. I'll fill you in more when you get there. Roger that, sir. Heavy machine guns set up at the entrances of the complex. Taking those out will pave the way for the Colombians. Roger that. Good job, Mitchell. The Colombians are beginning. 
Roger that. Captain, we are with you! main battle tanks before they can be brought to bear against the Colombians. Yes, sir.
Thank you, sir. We're confident that the Mexican rebels won't be receiving any more arms shipments from Colombia. But our intel has led to greater concerns for the region in general. That's for another time, though. Right now, we've got a Blackhawk inbound so you can extract. And the rest of the ghosts are recovering just fine and can't wait to see you. That's all, Mitchell. Mission complete.